Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to Hams That Cook and into my kitchen. Pull up a chair, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to do an experimental recipe. Of course I'll let you know how it turns out, well I won't, Sam will. This is one pound of ground beef and it was very lean. Um, so I'm trying to get it chopped up as um, you know into nice crumbly looking pieces instead of chunks. And I'm going to add some seasoning to it, but it's not going to be a whole lot. Um, yeah, I have, a, I have trouble keeping up with my seasonings. I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder in here. Whoop. And I'm going to keep mashing it. It's a little bit. A little bit of onion powder. Where is it? A little bit of garlic powder. Now this is just a light seasoning because, because it's going to be a background flavor. And now I'm going to add something, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite seasonings, chili and lime salt. So this has got some salt in it, guys. And any kind of citrus you know um, boosts the flavor of whatever you put it on. I think that's enough though. Of course I'll taste it in the end and we'll see. I don't have this set very high because I wanted time to get this um, in the size pieces I wanted it in so I'll bring you back when that happens. Well this is uh, this is about as small as I'm willing to keep chopping on it and it's good enough. Now this is I'm gonna pour it in first then I'll show you. This is the equivalent of, of uh, Rotel but this is Aldi's brand and it's mild, the mild version. So I'm putting it in next. <clears throat> and I want to show you a little tip here. I want to open this can. And most uh, through the years I go to the outside of the can. But let me tell you, it's a lot easier. <laughs> now it's not going to work if you go to the inside and grab the outside rim. Now for me it is. It may not be for you. Let me drain this. Okay. And these are pineapple tidbits. How about that? Surprise, surprise. Got a few left in here. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn the heat up some. And we're going to let this mingle. <laughs> we're going to let it mingle and get to like each other some before we do anything else. 
And this meat was very, very lean. And I don't like lean meat. No fat, no flavor. No bone, reduced flavor. So I try to always buy anything, you know, like um, Boston butt or pork chops or steak, chicken. I try to buy everything with a bone in it because the flavor is there. And uh, it's, it's really not, not nearly as good without a bone. Now that's my opinion, and you can agree or disagree. And while this mingles and marries and gets to know each other, I'm going to ask you about something, and you may think this is strange, but I had this, I don't know if you can see it, look at my finger, you see that bump right there? It came up on my finger about a month or two ago, and it won't go away, and I don't know what it is. So any of your nurses or doctors out there, if you can tell me what it is, I'd sure appreciate it. That's it. <laughs> That's what I want to know. You know, there's people out there a lot smarter than me. Not that I think I'm so smart. Okay, we're going to let this mingle, <laughs> and uh, when I think it's mingled enough, I'm going to bring you back. While I was off camera, I tasted this, and it just wasn't hearty enough for me. I wanted a a hearty taste to it, a stick-to-your-ribs comforting taste. So I added four ounces of cream cheese and I cut it in chunks and let it melt in there and stirred it around till it got, um, you know, distributed real well. Now I might have been able to get away with a third of a block of eight ounce cream cheese, but I used half. Now I had these ham hot dog buns they weren't stale, but they were harder. I just didn't, I wouldn't have put a hot dog on them. So I toasted them. And we're going to serve this as an open-faced miracle hamburger sandwich. You see, you see how hearty that is? After, after it mingled... Oh, man, does that look good. Now, I could put some onions on top, but I didn't cut any. So, you know, it's got your tomatoes. It's got your veggies in there and fruit. It's got everything you need in there, and we're just going to delight Sam with it. All right, I got Sam over here and got his plate in front of him, a little fork, a little knife, and he's going to test this and see how he likes it. Let me back off a little bit. You all been getting on to me about being too close. Mmm. It's different. Is it nice and hearty? Yep. Yeah. Good little old meal. Yeah, you know, pineapple kind of adds a little bit to it. One of these peppers or tomatoes? Or what? That's uh, it's Aldi's brand of Rotel. Oh, okay. So it's got chilies in it, but it's the mild one. Do you need any salt or? No. I didn't add any except what was in the chili mix that I. Pretty good, just like it is. You like it? Mm-hmm. Well. Wow. It's good. Of course, I've eaten about six apple dumplings. I wasn't starving. But this is real good. Different. I like different stuff. I don't like to eat the 
same things over and over. Well, you have no shame when it comes to sweets. Well, that's true. <laughs> well, you know it's getting close to Halloween and the next month. And my joke's about depleted. <laughs> and fortunately, we had a subscriber named Paul sent one in, Halloween joke. Said this young teenager, after a night of trick-or-treating, was going home and he took the shortcut through the cemetery. About halfway through, he heard this hammering noise. Startled him. But he followed the noise. And then a little bit he found an old man with a hammer and a chisel hammering on a tombstone. He said, goodness, said, you scared me. I, he said, I thought it was a ghost. He asked the old man, said, why are you out here so late working? He said, "These those idiots spell my name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I told it right, Paul. Anyway, appreciate you saying it. Like I said, I, I'm going to have to get a, some more jokes. But this is good. Mm, it's different. It's just, is this something you dreamed up? Yeah, it is. Well, that's usually the best things, huh? Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, guys. This is my Miracle Hamburger Mix. Good for a weeknight meal or... Or, you know, you could use it as a dip. You really could. I don't know. Might yeah, be. you could put chips in that. Not in it, but I mean you could dip chips in it and not not put it on a bun and use it as a dip. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. I always appreciate it. If you think this is a uh, video is worth it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And if you subscribe, be sure and hit the bell that's next to the the word subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So until next time, all of you take care and God bless every one of you.